John. Hi, yes. John. Hello. It's so good. I'm interviewing John Tertaglia, star of Avenue Q in the past. Is that your biggest break from, and puppetry also? Oh, yeah. Yeah. The biggest break from puppetry? Yes. Probably. I mean, it certainly wasn't, um, I mean, I knew I was going to, I wanted to do the theater, and I, I'd always studied to be a Broadway performer and an actor. Mm -hmm. I guess not a Broadway performer, but an actor. Right. Uh, stage mm -hmm. actor. And I, uh, I wanted to do Broadway, and I didn't think that would, never would have thought that would be the way I would end up here. But uh -huh. it was, yeah, it was, it's, you know, it was, I guess it was a, using that extra skill I had, um, mm -hmm. and it was the right time and the right place, and yeah, it was, it was not, it was not expected at all. Well, um, you were so phenomenal in Avenue Q. Thank you very much. And then, thank of you. course, in Shrek, you were amazing. I mean, I saw, <laughs> I saw it several times in Bryan Park, and mm -hmm. I, I don't know if you ever saw that video I did of you. It was, I did. Very it was very popular. Funny. Oh, it was. Oh, god. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, yeah. You're very popular among most people who know theater. Oh, so, thank you. Yes. Thank you. So, did, how was Shrek? I mean, was that a lot of fun? It was. It was. It felt so quick. You know, I mean, it was. Right. I did. I joined the, during the workshop. Mm -hmm. So they had done like three readings, I think, before I joined on, um, and I just loved it immediately. I thought it was so smart. And I thought mm -hmm. it was funny. And I thought mm -hmm. it was. Music, I think the music was beautiful. Yes. Um, and I just thought it was it was just such a different kind of show for families, which mm -hmm. I liked a lot. And um, so, yeah, and then, you know, Seattle was great, and we certainly learned a lot out there, and then we moved here to Broadway. It was mm -hmm. just sad that it, it didn't, it never really caught on, and I think it was the wrong, I think the recession started right when we yes. opened. And, um, and, you know, I think people, to be honest, in the community didn't quite embrace it the way we thought that they would. And uh -huh. so I think that it, it just, it was the wrong, wrong time. Right. Um, but, you know, it's living on. The tour is going to be great. They're redoing a lot of stuff with the tour. And I think that, you know, it'll be neat to, to see how it does out on the road. And, and, and uh, I just heard maybe London, so I don't know. So it's, oh, really? It, yeah, great. it's exciting. It seems like it's got a lot of potential behind it. So I'm proud to, to have originated that. I think then, it's, it's that's neat. great. Pinocchio okay, was so much fun. Well, you so. also originated the role of Princeton in Avenue Q. I did, yes. So you've originated two very major roles on I, Broadway. I guess so, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty exciting, right? It is. It's, it's, I mean, again, it's like every actor kind of dreams of that. And yes. It's, it's, both of them were unexpected. I mean, you know, with Avenue Q, it was, I was asked to come to this reading mm -hmm. many years before we ever even thought about Broadway, and, and you know, I did it to, for a friend and for Jeff and for a friend, mm -hmm. and so, you know, that was kind of neat to, to have all those years. That's the other thing, most actors don't have years to develop a character. Yes. They have maybe a few months or a few weeks if they're, what's actually more common is you three weeks. <laughs> so the fact that I had these, you know, a culmination of like four or five years to figure mm -hmm. out who these characters were. Princeton was, and Rod. Yeah. Yeah, and, and the show, I mean, to right. see how we related to each other, and, you know, I worked with Rick all that time, and Anne, and Stephanie, mm -hmm. and um, eventually Jen Barnhart, and, and so it was neat to kind of go into that and, and have that chance. And then with Shrek, it was, you know, I'd worked with Jason, of course, from Avenue Q, our director, Jason Moore, and mm -hmm. um, i never worked with Janine, but we had wanted to work together, and I thought David and Bear were so brilliant, and so yes. I was so excited to work with him, and, you know, it was a neat thing to also find those characters and work with this amazing ensemble and amazing group of Sutton and Brian and Chris. It was just, it was a, it was a dream. And my friend Jen Smart. Yes, who's so <laughs> amazing. Isn't she Jen's, great? She's like a muse. She's so <laughs> talented, and we did this, you know, the Newfangled Variety Show that I shot last August, and... She ended up writing a lot of the scripts for it. Really? And yeah, I had no idea she was such a brilliant writer as well as a, oh. a performer. And she's she's just, you know, solid. When was that? I didn't know about that. That was in August, last August we shot oh. it. It's a pilot that we shot um, to try to bring back the variety show. So we're going to start hopefully shopping it around and getting it out there. So. Oh, yeah, that would be great. I'd love to see that, actually. Yeah, it's fun. It's is fun. she in it, too? She is. She's oh. one of the performers in it. Isn't she funny? She was in Forbidden Broadway for so years. Talented. It was, it's her and Amy Garcia. Oh, I love her, too. And um, uh, Bobby Day and Noah Rivera and Leo Denault and myself. So it was oh. a nice combination of all these that, amazing people I've gotten to work with. So, that's yeah. fantastic. Yeah, it was really fun. Amy really Garcia was in Avenue Q also. She was. She was, she was, she was one. honestly for Kate, right? Yeah, yeah she was... Great. I used to love going on with her. She's so talented, so multi-talented, you know. That's great. And she a great puppeteer, too. too. Yeah, and a great puppeteer as well. So it's, yes. it's been neat to, you know, play with her in all those different realms. That's fantastic. Now tell us about your newest show, which I just saw yesterday, which is a children's show for anyone over four. Yes. <laughs> I, I like mean, you said that. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's called Imagine Ocean. Mm -hmm. It's playing here at New World Stages, mm -hmm. um, and it is a family musical. Um, and it's another case of something that started off in a way I didn't expect it to. I, I was commissioned by Royal Caribbean through Philip Katz, who runs Broadway Theatrical, right. to create a children's show for them on board for the new ship, The Oasis, which launched last year. Uh -huh. And um, and I said, sure, and I had this idea for doing a musical. Um, I wanted it to be original, original music, <clears throat> excuse me, with um, these original characters, and it was all done in blacklight. And, 
stories started coming and coming and we did a workshop up here in New York City right before we took it down to the ship and um, a bunch of people came to see it from the theater industry and again it was totally unexpected it was more like a, come see the show and tell us what you think and you know within a, a few days we knew we were going to be here in the world stage so it was That's so fantastic. yeah it was so exciting and we've got to expand the show and um, on the ship it's only 20 minutes long but here it's uh, about 49 50 minutes long yes. so to get to expand it here has been great and it's just been so rewarding just, did you I'm, write all the music i didn't write the music okay. I, I wrote the i wrote the book uh -huh. um, William Wade, who's a, a, a good friend of mine I've known for a long time, he wrote the music and lyrics. I love the music. It's beautiful, isn't it? I love the lyrics of the music, too. Yeah, the, he's really he writes really smart stuff, and, and I was really adamant that, well, he was too, actually, that, that the music was really smart and mm -hmm. that it sounded like, uh, it didn't sound like kids' music, which is so often right. synthesized, and yes. maybe you get a piano and drums, but we really wanted it to be a full, lush sound, so we actually have a 16-piece orchestra that played it, and oh. um, the, the yellow sound Jellyfish lab. Jive, did he write the lyrics for that? He did, yeah. I love that. It's great, isn't it? <laughs> Again, it's like so simple, but it works so well, so yes. he's, he's, he's just, he's been so great to collaborate with, and you know, some of the underscoring for the show, it was done so quickly that it amazed me, he'd just kind of go in the booth and go, yeah, I can play the scene and I'll, I'll figure it out, so he just writes something on the spot. I mean, he's, just, he's really brilliant. That's really, really great. Yeah. All right, hold on one second.